So 1511 clause 3267 says it's an instrumented system used to implement one or more safety functions, instrumented functions. Now this is very important because I usually know when I'm talking to end users how well versed they are in the standard and how much they really understand and know because if they tell me it's a SIL2 system then they really they really don't know. The reason is because the system, the safety instrumented system, can consist of one or more safety instrumented functions and these safety instrumented functions can have different SIL requirements. So this is the important distinction. And then a SIS is composed of combinations of sensors, logic solvers and final elements uh, and it can include the, the ancillary equipment, so power supplies, communications, all of that has to be considered certainly from the logic solver point of view. So when we look at a practical definition though, this is a more practical way of looking at it. So we can say that the SIS comp is composed of sensors, logic solver, final elements or combinations thereof, but it's designed specifically to automatically take an industrial process to a safe state when specified conditions are present. So that's one, achieve safe state. It can also permit a process to move forward if, in a safe manner if these preconditions are there. So in other words, permissives. We have some permissives. If we have sequential startup, sequential control, we can allow it to progress. And the third one, which is very interesting, is to take action to mitigate the consequences of an industrial hazard. So this one would apply to fire and gas. So people have often said to me, is a fire and gas system a safety system? To me, it is a safety system because if there is a loss of containment, if we have a gas leak, we have to be able to detect that gas leak as soon as possible, especially if it's highly uh, toxic or if it's highly explosive. We do not want a large enough concentration to be released that could find an ignition source. So having reliable gas detectors is very important. Back in the 80s, the gas detectors were not that reliable, and that was part of the problem with Piper Alpha, is that a lot of the gas detectors were in override or inhibit because they were giving problems. Nowadays, the, the reliability is much better, and you can get certified gas detectors. The same from a fire point of view. If we've, having, if, if we've had a loss of containment and a fire has started, we need to be able to detect it as soon as possible to be able to activate the sprinkler system. So mitigation is just as important. Now, it doesn't achieve safe state because we've had a loss of containment of some description. So we've already had the hazard occur. What we want to do is mitigate the consequences of that hazard. So in order to suppress the fire quickly enough, to detect the gas, to shut off the flow, <clears throat> the sooner we can do that, the better. And it has to be reliable. So that third one is specifically fire and gas orientated.